Hey there, my handsome and pretty little cobras, and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. Subscriber Artemisa has asked, what is my hair care tips, which I would love to share with you guys because you guys know that it's no secret. My hair is now one of my favorite features. So without further ado, let's just get to the video. Let's get it, let's go. So I used to be really obsessed with dyeing my hair because apparently I bought into the narrative that having a dyed hair made you look prettier. The most common hair color that I would dye my hair was like this milky brown color, but I don't know, it never came out really well. It always just looked brassy and my hair never really grew and it was just so freaking frustrating. And this went on for, I think like, when did I start dyeing my hair? I started dyeing my hair in grade nine and I didn't stop till I think like third year of med school. I think I calculated, I think I spent like over $2,000 on dyeing my hair. It was uh, pretty bad. The turning point for me when I decided to stop dyeing my hair was when I became a minimalist and I decided to stop dyeing my hair. So it has been, I think five years since I stopped dyeing my hair. So this is what it looks like right now. And all of my hair is virgin. I think last year I cut off the last of the dead tips so this is what my hair looks like right now it is quite long i think you guys can see it goes up to my waist it is all virgin hair it is very healthy okay so number one the first thing that i did and i don't know how controversial this is but yeah i stopped dyeing my hair I know that that is a very controversial tip because if you have color Gray hair that comes in um, that is not a tip i want to give so obviously i want to be sensitive with this tip dyeing your hair is a personal preference for me personally i just felt like when I stopped dyeing my hair, I think I was like 25 or something like that. I was like, I only have a couple years left before I start growing gray hair. I would like to enjoy my natural hair color. So, so yeah, so I stopped dyeing my hair and I just enjoyed having natural hair color. The grow out stage really sucked. It looked really ugly. I had like pudding hair, but I just kind of kept at it because I think I was, I was just so over having damaged hair. So I stopped. The second thing that also helped me a lot is I stopped straightening my hair. So you guys can see I have, I have naturally curly hair. I used to straighten my hair all the time and that was just really bad for my hair. My hair was really damaged. I would blow dry it and I would straighten it. On top of it already being processed, my hair looked awful. Nobody said my hair looked good. So I decided to stop straightening my hair and that was really difficult at first because my hair was so damaged. It only looked kind of decent but when I straightened it, when I left it in its natural state, the curl was so damaged it couldn't take a curl pattern. It was really embarrassing to look at. It was the growing stage, the middle stage was really difficult but it's really paid off. I don't straighten my hair anymore. I have not straightened my hair in over four years. Not really like an accomplishment but it, it has helped a lot and also I don't blow dry my hair. I do have a blow dryer, but I only use the cool setting. I just use cold air and I just give it a light blow. It's still kind of sort of wet and I just let it air dry and my hair has thanked me for it. Like, look at look at these curls, man. If you guys touch my hair, my hair is super soft. Like I remember I would pet my dog's hair and it was really soft because obviously you don't straighten or dye your dog's hair and it used to always be so soft. Now when I touch my own hair, it's like, it's the same feeling, it's like super soft. I have the softest hair of anybody I know, not to brag, but yeah. And that brings me into my third point is that if you just have healthier hair, you won't need as many products to maintain it. So the only product, hair product that I use is hair oil. So this is the hair oil that I use, super basic. It's Argon Oil of Morocco and I get this from shoppers and I get this from Walmart. It's very simple, very basic because if your hair is in good condition, you don't need heavy duty stuff to take care of it. When my hair was blonde, cause I was blonde, like I had blonde tips or like a very poorly done Bayolage is if that's what it's called. I had to put like Olplex in my hair and like purple shampoo and it was a lot of upkeep, a lot of maintenance, a lot of cost. So I'm I'm really glad that I don't have that upkeep anymore and I have and had that upkeep. When I was going through my hair journey of growing out my hair and trying to restore my hair, I used to do coconut hair oil masks. I don't have to do that anymore because my hair is extremely healthy. Another thing is your hair is also a reflection of how you eat. When I used to be vegan, for the two years that I was vegan, my hair did not grow past my shoulders. It was just like stuck. Like it would grow and it would just like fall out. I also had really thin hair. So I don't know how much of a, you know, tip I want to give this because I understand everybody has their own morality when it comes to eating meat but when I started eating protein and eating meat my hair started to grow again because protein you know hair is made of protein essentially so once I started eating meat again my hair started to grow a lot healthier and a lot thicker so next tip is I 
don't cut my hair very often. I only cut my hair once a year. So I know that that may not be a tip that everyone can implement, but for me, it has really worked out a lot. I focus more on hair maintenance by just taking care of the hair and letting the hair grow out. And then I just get it trimmed once a year, like a light dusting. I have my mom do it. My mom used to be a hairdresser. So she goes in and she just gives it a light dusting. When I was in China, because curly hair is not common among Chinese people, I would cut my own hair because when I would go to the salon, they would just, I don't even know what, they just, they just didn't know how to cut curly hair so after taking a bunch of L's at the salon I started cutting my own hair so I would just like section it off and then just flip it and then like cut it myself I think that the most important thing is just like hair prevention if you don't dye your hair and you don't use heat products on your hair I think you're already ahead of the game prevention is key I mean like let's be real if you've been on a hair journey you know that no amount of hair masks is going to save damaged hair it's just better to not have damaged hair i know that's maybe not the tip that people want to hear damaging your hair isn't it just easier to just dye your hair and damage it and think oh it's okay i'll just slap on a hair mask your hair never really looks good and i'll be honest my hair never looked good and i never got compliments on my hair until i just left my hair alone <laughs> once i stopped dyeing it and once i stopped straightening it finally for the first time ever i had girls tell me like oh my gosh you have like really nice hair and oh my god hair goals or even my subscribers like you guys will be like i really like your hair or you have really pretty hair yeah sometimes just embracing your natural beauty is the way to go but the curly girl hair method i have like a i don't know what the type is i'll put it up here on the screen but i don't have the thickest of curl types it's not a very tight curl so it's like a little bit more manageable i suppose is the word it's looking for but let me tell you when my hair was short it, it would like puff out like a poodle so I, I completely understand the struggle that it is to have curly hair that sometimes you just like i just don't want to be natural i just want to have permed hair which i completely respect because i used to Japanese perm my hair too because I just didn't want to deal with curly hair it got to the point where I was just so sick and tired of dealing with my hair that I was like at this point I'd rather have nasty hair <laughs> you know nasty hair and nasty grow out that once I passed that stage then I saw my own natural hair I was like oh it's actually pretty nice so I hope that this video was informative could have given you a little bit of insight could have given you a little bit of information or at the very least entertained you and thank you so much for the subscriber requests love those and I will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye